my prayer life is meager. I mean, uh, it's certainly not organized. I don't have moments of prayer. I don't have follow any schedule of prayer. I don't have any theory about prayer. I, I remember Meilenberg, that great teacher, said my prayer is mostly blubbering. And I think that's true for me. I mean, I, I pray for, for people I love and people who are sick. I try to pray. I can't pray for the world as I would now with the world in the brink of chaos. I don't know how to pray for peace. I can't lift up this whole circus. But no, my prayer is sporadic and random and inarticulate and uh, helpless. This is off the point, uh, but not entirely off the point. Uh, I talked to a man who had been in Trinity Church, Wall Street in New York, on the day that the Trade Center was destroyed. And uh, a, that evening, he told me many things that were absolutely fascinating, because he was right there in the thick of it. He and some others worked their way finally uptown, and they got to a restaurant, and they ordered food, and then they all suddenly burst into tears. And uh, he said that there was a, a service hastily convened in the Cathedral of St. John the Divine, at which Rowan Williams, the now but not then Archbishop of Canterbury, at the last moment was asked to speak. And I, I hope, I, I mean, I'm assuming the man reported back to me. And one of the things that uh, Rowan Williams said was, he said, God, in moments like this, God is useless. And I thought at first, what an appalling thing to say. And then I thought, what a brave thing to say. And then I thought, what a true thing to say. God cannot or does not choose to make the horrors unhappen. They've happened, and uh, he cannot be used. I, I turned to him for something, some kind of comfort, but uh, he is useless, and yet the other side of it is he is present. I'm sure he's present. Even in the darkest moment, he is there but not in a way that is of great comfort, perhaps, or in a way that explains anything.